This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2007 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Long Bed. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's two-wheel drive. It's a uh, XL package. It's got cloth, seats, um, crank windows. It uh, When we get inside, I'll show you all the other stuff it has. But basically, it's a Crew Cab Long Bed, 6.0, uh, two-wheel drive. Has uh, low miles. 110,921 miles. It was a repo from American Credit Acceptance uh, in Vegas. Brought it here, um, checked it out. Very nice truck, runs great. Um, I'm sure when they repoed it, the uh, tailgate's probably in the repo victim's uh, garage. So we had to buy a, a Louver tailgate for it, which is brand new, I just put it on. Um, and the detail that's all it needed uh, i'm going to walk around this truck i will show you uh point at anything that you might want to look at closer in the photo gallery when my brother takes the pictures of it um photos pictures photos uh, tires look to be probably 70 or 80 percent tread um, like i said it runs really really well my job in these videos is not to tell you what you want to hear, though. I'm supposed to be the uh, bad guy here and tell you what's wrong. Um, so, I will try that. Apparently, our detail shop found a, the only mud puddle still here after last week's rain. Um, there's a light scratch here. And this this fender, yeah, at first I thought maybe this fender had been painted, but it really it's, it looks like it's just got that fade from on this fender like this was the side in the sun in Las Vegas. A um, little scratch here and here. The undercarriage of this truck looks really good. Which is not uncommon for uh Tucson, Vegas, Phoenix vehicles because there's very little rain or bad weather, so you don't really have to worry about issues under it. There's holes here. Uh, we decided just to keep this thing, keep the price down, not to do any really serious cosmetics or anything, although there's really nothing seriously cosmetic wrong. But uh, see, it has a couple tears, there's a tear in the driver's seat also. In the tent there but uh, when I'm pointing out little rips in the tent pinholes in the seat you've uh, probably got a really nice truck because like I said my job is to uh, not be kind uh, but this vehicle ends up by being purchased by a person in Minnesota and it gets out there and it's not what we said it would be we get screamed at and that doesn't work for us it does have backup sensors and they work like I said brand new Luber tailgate I just put on it. And a bed liner. Light package here. So I can put that in there. Easier said than done with one hand, right? A little scratch here. Bunch of them like here. a work truck so I don't really think anybody's gonna care about scratches and stuff someone trying to touch this scratch up I think that's kind of a waste of time it's got two keys that's locked that's unlocked key uh, says ACA repo um, let me get this thing fired up 110,923 miles Sorry about the glare. There you go. There's your cluster. All right. Let me show you some paperwork first. This is uh, on Amazon. We bought this uh, Louver tailgate. 280 bucks. It's about three months ago, they were 200. So, <laughs> the economy's doing great. Um, here's a Mannheim market report dated uh, 1-2023 when I bought this. 
Um, basically, it's what dealers pay for it at auction. I put in the, the mileage for it. That's the VIN, by the way. You put the VIN in, you put the miles in, and you get 7850, which is what the dealer would pay for it at a live auction. And then you come down here, and this is what to expect for a retail price. 15150 with a range, you know, on the on the wholesale end of 8450 to 11750. So this is the wholesale range. That's the estimated retail. Okay. Here's your uh auto check this is the vehicle history there's the date 120 there's your vin um this will be all this stuff is scanned in by the way you can look at it without me reading it to you but a lot of people want uh explanations of what's going on no accidents damage reported um no odometer issues obviously good so it was born in paradise valley in arizona lived in el paso even drier than here um Moved to Henderson, Nevada in 2018. Dry. <laughs> Explains the undercarriage. And it's in Vegas and it gets repo. Okay. Here is the title that is signed off to us. There's your VIN. This is a clear Nevada title. American credit acceptance. This guy's name blocked out because obviously he's the repo victim. Um, 110,918 miles. The seller is credit acceptance. Signed it off to Crosscut. Okay. Um, what else we got here? Here's an actual repo affidavit for this vehicle. American Credit Acceptance. Took it from Joseph. Um, there's your VIN right here. And then, here's the repo affidavit to us. American Credit Acceptance to Cross CrossFit. Cross, CrossFit. Cross Cut. And then there's the uh, name of the uh, repo victims blotted out. Okay? Let's see. Put this stuff right here. Look under the... I'd like to see what's underneath that in case there's a hole in the floor which there isn't it's got an aftermarket uh, uh, cruise control not sure if it works because it's aftermarket um, we're not even going to test it because I've had very bad luck with aftermarket cruise controls so just assume it doesn't work because they never do <laughs> but perhaps this guy's good at it I don't want to take it on an I-10 and test it and then go, oh, it works, and then it gets to your house, and it doesn't. Just assume it doesn't. <laughs> There's a Ford stamp here, so you have an original fender. Super clean under the hood. This is pretty much the way it showed up, so this is how they repoed it, because they didn't detail it. So, it was uh, taken pretty good care of under the hood. There's your cat sticker. There's your Ford stamp there. That would indicate that they didn't replace this fender. So this is going to be sun fading. There's the Ford stamp there. Let's see how much uh, blow by we have. None. That's a winner. That's a real winner. Looks great. All right. I love trucks like this. Just basic, less to break. Perfect. There's a little tear on the side of the seat that I told you about. Someone already put a little vinyl insert in there because that happens all the time on Ford out, outside seat bolsters. If it didn't happen, you probably wouldn't own a Ford because you'd think you were in the wrong truck. I've never seen a cloth F-250 or F-350 with the outside bolsters and torn like that. Um, headliner, there's a little little tiny pinhole right here um, radio I tried to make it work it's some stupid aftermarket junk there's your uh, parking sensors by the way right up against the garage so drive let's take it outside the gate here all right now let's stop let's see what else we got there's your uh, trailer stuff I know the heater works because I was blasting it the other day. We, we've been in the uh, high 20s at night around here lately, so that works fine. So let's go over to AC, turn the AC on, double check that. Make sure we got some air conditioning. That'll take a second. All right, what else? There's your tow haul on and off. Yep, there we go. 
There's your AC. All right, uh, let's see. I think that's all there is to check in here. We have tilt, we don't have tilt. So we have an aftermarket cruise control, which I'm not even gonna bother with. And we have um, a radio that I couldn't get to work. So you're gonna have to slam a radio in. It's missing that knob, the volume knob on it. Those things are like $22, man, so. And I'm sure it doesn't have Bluetooth. So whoever's gonna buy this truck is gonna put something decent in it anyway. Or you could just slam a factory radio in there for 25 bucks. Um, there's no point in me fixing putting the radio in for you. Probably won't meet what you want. Um, all right, let's talk about buying this truck. Um, if you come to Tucson to drive this thing home, you're gonna pay the following. You're gonna pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee, all right? If you pay by wire and ship it out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Look at the potholes from the rain. Holy crap. I mean, there's Tucson's roads right there. Yeah, if it rains like an inch, we're done. Um, let's see. So if you if you pay by wire and ship out of state, um, there's no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Uh, we'll receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will scan it into your online file. Uh, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file, and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in, okay? So you'll be able to see everything. Um, you'll have the vehicle shipped to you, the title will be in your mailbox before the shipper shows up. When the shipper shows up with the truck, you take the title and the truck down to your motor vehicle and get plates. If you need help with shipping, please let me know early in the transaction so I can get it to you as fast as possible. Um, if you need my help, if not, you're welcome to do it yourself. Um, if you do want us to do it, we can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle so you make one payment for the truck and the, and the shipping. Um, makes it a little bit easier. Um, what else? La, 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 la. Anyway, make sure you get the ship. Uh, let me know if you want a, a, any help with shipping, all right? Um, deposit. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Uh, we have been having a big time trouble holding on to enough diesels to uh, be a diesel expert. Uh, our diesel sells really, really, really fast. So if you want a diesel, please make sure that uh, you get your deposit in because you can make a, we can agree on a price in, in the morning and by the time you get home to talk to your husband or your wife about it, it could be sold and paid for and already shipped out. So lock it in if you're interested. Um, tell them to get on the phone over the, you know, get on the phone with your wife or husband in the morning and say, check this out online and should we make a deposit right now? Um, that's my suggestion, okay? Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing and I have every single time for 15 or 16, 16 almost 17 years now. Um, by the way, I'm gonna take it out here on I-10 so you can see it run on I-10. Um, we don't have a salesman. We don't have a bottle of water with our name on it. We don't have a fancy uh, uh, lounge with a game room. That's at the auto mall, okay? If you wanna go to the auto mall, and you want to pay a fortune for something, um, go there and you can pay a fortune for something. Um, and also, when you go there and you buy a truck from them, they know that they crushed you like a tin can. So when you bring it back with something broken, they have to fix it or you're gonna kill them. All right, so they put, they already build in about five to $700 on every deal for you coming back for a future repair. Um, if they fix it for you, they'll use that five to $700 to fix it. If it's more than that, they'll just give you your money back for the truck and sell it exactly the way they sold it to you. Okay, again, to the next person. That's how they work. We don't do that. What we do is uh, we save you the money on commissions for salesmen and on a fancy location and perfect pavement and uh, fountains and scones and lattes. You're not paying for any of that crap. There's two of us in our, in our, in our business, me and my brother. And uh, we give you that money up front so that you can fix your vehicle with the thousands of dollars you save from us. If by chance um, you don't like that, please add $3,000 to the price we negotiated. And then, uh, you know, when something breaks, we'll just have it fixed for you. <laughs> you know, but you're saving that much money. Um, obviously, this truck is a good running truck. Uh, we saw no blow by whatsoever. Um, the fluids were all good. Um, it runs strong, really strong. But 
we like to tell people, you know, we're not Nostradamus. We don't know when this thing's going to break. Nobody knows when any of these vehicles are going to break. And if you can tell people you're you're selling a perfect car or a perfect vehicle that's not going to break, uh, you're a serial liar. Okay? <laughs> because nobody knows that. And uh, that's why we provide you with the auto check and the title and this drive and the photos and reality. Okay? Okay. Um, but we, we need everyone to know, we can't sell these at the prices we're selling them if we have to write you a check. Um, if you get it in day one, it decides that, you know, who knows, the blinker won't work, or a headlight decides to blow out, or uh, an injector goes out, you know. Uh, we can't write you checks because we didn't make any money like that. They did that at the auto mall. They crushed you at the auto mall. They'll be glad to do that, okay? <laughs> um, we think people appreciate that. If you don't appreciate that, that that could be a possibility. We don't have a single car in our inventory for you, but if you want to buy a vehicle that's sold accurately and honestly, then we're here for you. Um, our strength is that we have a lot of reach. We have a lot of people on the internet. We have lots of, many, many thousands of people who follow, have been following us forever, especially on diesel, especially, especially on 6.0s. Um, and, uh, you know, that's good news, you know, for us, uh, that we can be brutally honest. Uh, if there's a problem, we can say there's a problem and there's gonna be a mechanic out there who knows the problem and is gonna be able to deal with it, all right? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Also, if you wanna bulletproof the vehicle, we have a package for 2,900, which gives you the bulletproof EGR cooler, the Ford oil cooler and all the fluids and everything for 2,900, which is absolutely ridiculously cheap for that. Um, that being said, when you have no blow-by at all and it runs like this, just change the fluids, you'll never have that problem. Well, never. I should never say never and never say perfect. You should not have that problem. Um, the problem you may have in the future, which almost every, well, literally every 6.0 has eventually, is a leaky oil cooler. This one doesn't have one today, but uh, that's what happens. They start leaking, you get leakage on the ground, and it's from the oil cooler. And when you change the oil cooler, you might as well do the uh, EGR. So that's my advice to people on that. If you're gonna do it, um, it's a great price. If you don't wanna do it, that's fine. Um, but uh, that's it. Anyway, my video can be 17 minutes and 38 seconds according to YouTube, and we're almost out of time.